My name is Alyssa. If you don't know me already, definitely make sure to like and subscribe to stick around for next time. As you can see by the title of this video, I am very excited because I get to redo this bathroom. So the bathroom I'm in currently, which is why it's so echoey by the way, it's actually at John's house, which is my boyfriend, and he has a townhouse. So he just rents it, but his parents actually own the property. So like there are landlords. I don't live here yet, but I will be in a couple months. So that is kind of why I'm redoing this bathroom. But he did have another roommate before that moved out not too long ago, and that was kind of his bathroom up here. So since he moved out, no one's really been using it as much. So we just figured like, let's move the bedroom upstairs. Um, and then make this the primary bathroom as well. And I'll give you guys an overview of what it currently looks like. It's very like a crusty because a boy was living here. So it definitely needs a good scrub. Um, there is also quite a few like paint malfunctions and texture on the wall that needs to be touched up. And then just overall, it needs some fun colors. So that's where I come in. Can't do like wallpaper or anything, unfortunately, but I'm gonna try my best to keep it kind of like a black and white scheme with some pops of color. And my current bathroom in my college apartment is actually like peach themed. So I really like the idea of keeping kind of this fruit aesthetic. So this is kind of the inspiration photo that I'm going off of. I do actually have a specific rug in mind. It's like half of a lemon. So I wanna find that rug. I probably could have waited till I like moved in, but it's kind of fun to have everything like ready for when I do move in. So that way I don't have to like have that added stress on top of moving in of like, okay, well now I need to like fix the bathroom up so we can use it then. So figured, let's just get it out of the way. It is currently my spring break right now. So I have a couple days where I don't have to work or do school or anything. So great time to do this. So with that being said, I will give you kind of an overview of what we're working with. And then I'm gonna hit the store, do some cleaning and get this thing spruced up. So let's go. All right, are you guys ready to see the current bathroom? So this is what it looks like when you open the door. I do really like the wood paneling on the floor. I think that's very nice and neutral and modern rug. Um, it's pretty dirty everywhere, just with like hair and dust. Here is the like sink slash mirror situation. Um, this light is actually out. Um, and I don't love this light fixture, but I think it's probably gonna have to stay just because it is a rental, like I was saying. This mirror is actually a pretty decent size, so that will be staying as well. Pretty nice neutral counter, so no issues there. However, there are a lot of like random paint and like texture things going on, so I definitely want to sand that out. Kind of is giving like 1970, so I don't know really what the plan is gonna be for this yet. I think we might try just scrub it all out and see if it looks better. If not, we might have to regrout. This, I absolutely hate. <laughs> I don't really know if there's like an easy way to get that off the tub or not, but like clearly that is disgusting. Um, But yeah, so that's the shower. And then over here, there is a hook to hang towels on. There's that. <laughs> Same with just like random texturing here. Overall, again, just kind of needs to be cleaned up in here. So yeah, that is the current state of the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so since this bathroom is like crusty, I think it would be helpful to clean first because... Ew, that's all like hairs. Uh -oh. It finally happened, my nail finally came off. I have glue, so I'll glue back on, don't worry. I've been cleaning the bathroom for like an hour, so I wanna be done with that. Um, So I'm gonna go shopping now. Since I don't wanna spend a ton of money, I wanna see what the thrift stores have first for like little like decor items um, and like artwork and stuff like that. I feel like I should get a car just in case. All right, back in the car. Um, Goodwill like didn't really have anything good. So now I'm gonna go to Marshall's because I feel like they're gonna just have more of like what I'm envisioning. You're kidding. I really like these trash cans, but they both have a dent right here. So that's not gonna work. I do also like this little one, but there's like no price on it anywhere. So I guess we'll find out at the register. So I ended up getting that black like matte thingy. 
And I got a water, cause you girl thirsty. And then that little like black trash can thing, which is in here. The woman at the register was like, oh, I know that's $7.99. And I was like, okay, like that's fine. And then she was like on her little walkie thing, like I need the skew for this so I can like ring it up. And then they were like, okay, that's $8.99. She's like, oh, it's $8.99, <laughs> ha never mind. I was like, don't do that. <laughs> like I know it's just a dollar, but I'm like, don't say it's $7.99 to be like, never mind, lol, girl. I know for sure that Target has like more of what I'm envisioning. I didn't want to go to Target because I know I will find other random things I do not need. Maybe I'll go to Target and then see if they have what I need and then if not, I'll go to at home. I don't really know, but I don't want to spend any more than like $50 on this right now. So I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, these are not the same brand as the other ones that are in the bathroom, but like I'm like pretty confident that these are the same. I'm just gonna hope it's the right one. This is the one we have in our college bathroom right now, so I'm not trying to get like the exact same one, but I don't see any other like fruit ones. Okay, I think we're just gonna go with this shower curtain. Still lots of fun colors, so should be easy to like plan around that. And I found this really cute little bathtub in the dollar section. I don't think I'm gonna get it because like I don't need it, but... Also, my camera is like blinking because it's gonna die, so I'm gonna continue shopping now. What's up, guys? It is a few hours later. I didn't get the literal one thing that I really wanted, which was that like lemon rug, except for I know which store has it, so I'm definitely gonna go back and get it at some point. It just probably won't be today, so. But here's just a haul of like everything I picked up today. After my camera died, I got a couple extra things, so I'm just gonna go over everything. Like I showed you guys already in the store, got that bamboo. Stop, John's staring at me again. Either look at me all the way or don't. So I got that bamboo thing, which I'm kind of going for that black and white theme. So I'm excited to set that up. Got this garbage can, which by the way, Target had one that's really similar and it was like twice the price that I paid for this one. So just saying. Then I found this shower curtain. So this is the color scheme that we're going to be dealing with. So kind of some fun pops of colors and patterns. I went to at home, they didn't have anything. I don't know, I went a couple other places, they didn't have anything either. But then I went to um michael's and i showed you guys that other little bathtub at target that one was like smaller and like chalky this one just spoke to me i don't know why i think it will match the rug that i have in mind really well so i just thought this was really cute if you know you know if i blow the really good storage bins and obviously i love pink so i had to pick these up while i was there next if i blow i found this really cute little fake plant for five dollars just like small enough and i really like the ribbed white i think it's very like classy looking and then lastly i could not for the life of me find artwork that i felt like was kind of modern and up to what i was going for for the bathroom that matched the shower curtain and kind of not too expensive so i decided to make my own so i got a pack of these two canvases for five dollars if i blow i think these are like a perfect size and since you guys have been dead for a few hours i actually started working on the first one so i'll show you what i kind of got going on i already know someone's gonna comment and be like why are you on the rug because there's a puzzle on the table anyways so yeah i just have minneapolis and then i'm gonna do farmer's market down here and i just have this um kind of teal color to match the curtain and then on the other one this is kind of the photo image thing that i'm going for so it's gonna be pink with some strawberries We found the rug. If you get another one, it's a full length. <laughs> hey guys, so we're back from World Market. We actually didn't end up finding a shelf there, but we do have some downstairs that we don't really use in like this little mudroom area. Let's just take one for up here. So we're gonna go ahead and install this onto the wall now. <laughs> okay. 
to drop every screw. Guys, I just made really good pasta dinner and we had breadsticks and fruit. And we were watching Jumanji and then John was like, let's go hang up the shelf right now. So we're in the middle of the movie. Okay, so then John sanded down so there's no bumps, but there's like this crack on the wall. There's like this hole and stuff like that. So I'm gonna paint over that. Guys, this paint's crusty as hell. The paint is four years old. Okay guys, moment of truth. This paint is so crusty. <laughs> Anyone who's a professional painter, I don't even wanna hear it. So it's probably just gonna stay looking so bad. Hey guys, welcome to the completed bathroom. <laughs> place the light up there so that these actually all shine. Didn't do a whole lot over here. We kind of fixed the paint. Over here on the shelf, we just have kind of some random stuff. I might do a photo here at some point, but for now, we used our little bathtub for some makeup wipe remover things. The star of the show is really this shower curtain. And at some point, I do want to get custom frames for these. I just don't have money for that right now so we'll get to that at some point but that is the completed bathroom and i'm so happy with how it turned out so i definitely think it matched my expectations of what we were going for i would also love to hear any video ideas you guys have so make sure to comment those below i think i might be doing another renovation video pretty soon in the future so make sure to subscribe to stick around for that one and with all that being said like this video if you liked it and i will see you guys in my next video bye